As a member of the Los Angeles Lakers, LeBron James is just the latest in a long line of great athletes to don the purple and gold. And while his experience has been more than satisfactory so far, it doesn't mean he hasn't endured some rough moments since joining the club back in 2019. As James and Davis would go on to detail in an episode of Legacy, the true story of the Lakers, Kobe Bryant's passing in January 2020 was a particularly brutal moment for them and their team. Bron's knocked out. Now, Bron, Bron. Bron wakes up. I said, I said, bro, Kobe died. And he said, same thing. I said, Kobe who? Like, Kobe Bryant. Him, Gigi. He was like, man, stop playing. Anthony um, looked like um, somebody pulled it, like his soul from him. I'm like, bro, I'm not playing. I'm like, they saying it's, it's, it's true. Nobody had their color. And we all, all of us just kind of just broke down. We just all broke down in tears. To go back in the arena and play was just like impossible. And we see the crowd, everybody's wearing Kobe shirts, and the tears come back, the emotions come back. It was a really crushing moment for thousands of fans across the world. But as Lakers, Davis and LeBron had an almost special connection to Kobe. They knew what he meant to the city. They knew how special he was to so many people. At that moment, you can't blame the Lakers for showing some humanity and breaking down after hearing of Kobe's accident. LeBron, as we remember, was not among the many famous faces cameras scanned throughout the Staples Center during Kobe and Gianna Bryant's public memorial service that held back in February 2020. The celebration of life was attended by the biggest names in sports and entertainment, including Michael Jordan, Shaq, Magic, Steph Curry, and other NBA legends and stars. Reports revealed that while LeBron attended the ceremony, he apparently requested for not to be filmed. In a video on ESPN, the NBA star, who once played with Bryant during the Olympics, described himself as emotionally a wreck and said that it's just been hard to kind of talk about it. Emotionally a wreck like everyone else. Another challenging day for all of us. You know, like you guys, like you've been hearing me talk about the last couple of times, you guys are asking about the whole situation. It's just been hard to kind of talk about it. Rich Paul, LeBron's agent, told ESPN that it was an emotional day for James and that he spent the memorial in his own space. When James was asked directly about his whereabouts during the ceremony, he turned his focus toward Bryant's widow, Vanessa, and her words of remembrance for her late family members. I, I respect your question, uh, for sure. But, um, very emotional, very emotional day, very tough day for myself, my family, for everyone involved. One thing I can, the one thing I can come out of saying how, how strong and how bold and how powerful Vanessa is, um, to stand up there the way she did, to give the speech the way, the way she gave that speech, um, I commend her. Uh, my heart is with their family still, with his three daughters that's still here, with his wife, with his mom and dad, and his sister. It was just a very difficult day, obviously, celebration, but just a difficult day for all of us. So I appreciate it. Just if we can move on to tonight, that'd be great. It's never gonna be a closure. I mean, we continue to, to live on his legacy and continue to have our hearts heavy uh, with both uh, sadness and with happiness for his family. They're still here, so it's not a closure. In the aftermath of Bryant's death, James told ESPN it was the toughest week of my life. Tell us in the comments, what is your favorite LeBron and Kobe moment? And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more. For even more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Free Dawkins and Squad Dawkins, and follow us on social media.